Dear Dad, Mummy's really sad. I heard you got mad and you're a bad man, but I still miss you. We have to speak to this lady so that maybe we can see you. Please be good again. She says we could then meet up. For me, Becky and Kirsty, it's real tough. As the years go by, compared to you when I'm angry, I don't know why I put up with this. Crucified, bullied shitless, Jehovah's Witness, oppressive cultural pressure to keep me submissive while I put up with this cult and this is fucking with my head. Or is it just me? I'm not the slightest bit religious. And Dad seems to have been making changes. I don't think he's got a temper anymore, so we've been making arrangements. At the start of the day, I grab two bin liners of clothes and run away. Off to school and his to stay. It's all good to begin with, but when we argue, his temper emerges, his anger surges, and throwing his fists, he urges me to submit, reminiscent of the old prick I thought was no more. He says he'll take away my TV. I say, whatever, but then he dives at me. I'll show you whatever, smashing me off walls, hitting and kicking. You think you're fucking clever? Frozen, while he goes hell for leather. But if I weather the storm, hopefully things will get better. I'm sorry, I scream, as I cower in the corner of the room, curled up in a ball, he looms over me, pushing his fist into my head, heavy breathing, saying red. Eventually he leaves me alone to shit and cry by myself. I climb into my bed, the blanket offers slight relief. As I try to retreat away, he comes back in, leans over me the bed and hugs me. Now he's sobbing. I want to push him off, but I do nothing. I love you, son. I won't ask him why, but I love you too, dad, is all I reply. Years go by, and like a broken record, actions repeated, repeated, repeated. I remember running downstairs, frightened for my life, pulling out a knife, almost ready to take yours, feeling depleted. He pushed me to breaking point. And again I run away with two bin liners of CDs and DVDs. It wasn't easy for me. I never followed rules obediently. But now like Leonard Skinner, I'm a free bird. Let me reword it. For the second time in my life I broke free of oppression and learned some lessons. But months turned to years and I can't break free of this depression. Pills and talk and therapies, it's me who's always stressing. You've got a new wife, a new life, and I've got no family. Eminem said it best. I actually learned a lot from you. I learned what not to do. Eventually we speak, try to rebuild, every Sunday I will come to your house with my girlfriend who turns out to be another whirlwind in my life, we go through a bad breakup, sometimes I don't want to wake up anymore, a work friend moves in to cover the rent, he's there when I'm stressed and I'm a mess, he fancies me but he knows I'm not interested and acts like he only wants the best for me, until one night when I'm asleep and wake up with his hand inside my jeans touching me. But I'm hazy, so maybe it's a dream. And it happens again. Immediately, I wake up, and he tries to pretend that he's asleep. Fucking creep. And if you want to know his name, like I walk away without saying, I talk to the police but didn't pursue it, so he's got away without paying. And it eats away, decaying. As an adult, I move back in with Dad. But when my memories of the past flooding back are so bad, Seeing the people I love self-harm, attempted suicides, slit wrists, slit throat, or days, they've almost died, you take no responsibility, each time I cried until the ambulance arrived, I'm hardly coping, and you wonder why the months leading up, I'm so shut off and broken, hiding away, moping, until one day, I walk to the top of a bridge, glare over, visualising in tears, trying to overcome my fears, people walk past with blank stares, see, nobody cares. But as I look over, there's kids below. This isn't how I want to go. Haunting other people's lives. So I wait, procrastinate, deliberate. Then a lad comes along and asks if I'm okay. I say I'll be fine, that he doesn't need to stay. But he says he's not going anywhere until I am safe. He sees the pain all over my face. Falling from grace. Almost give up on the race. Will and his parents put a roof over my head. Give me a bed, a bath and clothing, I was fed. Help with police and hospital visits, I was cared for and more. Love was given. Thanks to them, this is what I've written.